My name is Piotr Toczynski and in this video I'm gonna show you how to swap clips on the timeline faster than your eyes can follow. Then I'm gonna address some of your comments from previous videos. Welcome to the Wink of an Eye series, where we teach Premiere Pro features in the Wink of an Eye. So, there is a really cool way to swap clips on the timeline. You select the first clip, then press Ctrl plus Alt on the keyboard or Command and Option on Mac, and then drag the clip on top of the other where the edit point is. Now, release. That's it. That saves you so much time down the road. Just imagine moving clips to the right, then moving clips around and putting everything to the right place again. Tremendous effort. So from now on, just click Ctrl plus Alt on the keyboard and release. As I said, it's fast and easy. So let me tell you the rules of the Wink of a Nice series we're starting today. I still do video tutorials that goes in detail about features of Premiere Pro and film editing as such. But it will not be just Premiere Pro Tutorials channel. We're gonna talk about the art of editing, we're gonna talk about filmmaking books, we're gonna talk about ups and downs of editing for a full time and so on. But it takes a lot of time and effort, so in this series I'm gonna always start with the wink of an eye tip. It will take between 10 seconds and 2 minutes. And then I'm gonna address some of your comments. I want you, the audience, to be the part of that channel. I'm not a guru who just teaches how to be good. I learn myself, I learn a lot. And there is no better source than the community like you guys. Ok, let's jump into the questions and comments. How do you do your titles? I know the ability to make text written on the paper look like a white paint, but you actually capture your brush strokes. Do you mind sharing your technique? Of course I don't mind, I've started the YouTube channel so I can share with you guys. So there are a few ways you can pull it off. One of them would be using brush tool in After Effects. But I wanted to do it faster, also cheaper this way. And as usually when you have time constraints, your creativity gets better. So you can pull this off really, really easily. First you need to use screen capture software to record what you do. I use OBS and I can recommend it, it's free software. Then open Photoshop, create a new file with solid black layer and make it full screen by pressing F on your keyboard. Then choose white for your brush and write something using any graphic tablet. And actually you don't need to use Photoshop for that, any graphic software will do. Now import the clip you've captured to Premiere Pro and all you need to do is change a blend mode for this clip to screen or add. Blacks disappears white remains. That's how it's done. You sound like Tommy Weiser. Thank you. I guess. I shot an interview in 60 FPS by mistake. How can I sync it? So actually you synchronize it the same way you would do with 30 FPS or any other. The question is do you have scrap audio to synchronize your good audio to? What frame rate is the rest of the footage you need to use in that project? And what frame rate will be used for distribution. The rule of thumb for me is this, create a sequence with the frame rate of your final delivery. Then before you drop your 60 FPS footage to that sequence, merge that clip. In the description I link to the article I wrote for amazingmusictracks.com about synchronizing audio. It's also about what to do when you don't have a scrap audio, don't have any track you can synchronize your good audio with. Awesome, this channel will surely get a million subs in no time. That would be very, very great. But let me tell you something. I believe in what Walt Disney said about making money. Meaning that I don't want to make videos to make money. I want to make money to make more videos. So one tenth of million subscribers would be beyond my imagination. But mostly because that would allow me to do what I love for a living and that is producing content that can inspire and teach others. And I know that it can sound a little bit cheesy, but I really, really, truly believe it. Thank you for posting! This is probably one of the most helpful videos I've seen about editing in a long time. Comments like this one makes me wanna produce more and more videos, especially from someone with editing experience like Paul. So again, just let me say thank you and I hope that my videos will get better and better with each iteration. Your idea of template project file is great, but why not go further and make template folders using post haste? 
I'm so glad Rob mentioned post haste. Actually, I am using it as well. Though I didn't put it in my two minute video, there is a lot of stuff you can pre-organize and it's absolutely worth it. Post haste lets you easily create folder structure on your hard drive and at the same time it can copy your project files for you. Great time saver down the road, definitely worth trying out since it's free as well. If that's your first time here, please subscribe and let me know what you think about this idea for videos in the comments below. By the way, the name of this series is obviously inspired by In the Blink of an Eye book by Walter March. We'll talk about that book more in the future. It was Peter, until the next time, shoot and edit like there is no tomorrow.